How fare ye, collectors? Uh, today's another good day. This box came in, and according to the tracking number, it's uh, from AliExpress Seller Mini Model Store, and there should be a white Phantom 8 limousine in this thing. So let's take a look and uh, see what happens here. The uh, Phantom 8 came out in 2017, and uh, it's made of the same qualities as the old Phantom 7 where it has the logos on the wheels that don't spin, uh, the 6.75 liter V12 engine that makes 900 newton meters of torque. Well, that might be a new new statistic, but it's a big v V12. Hmm. Okay, look at this, guys. Nice. It's new, obviously. It looks new. And these package. Got the clear thing going on. Uh, no logo on the bottom here. Just logo, Rolls-Royce logo there. In the back here of this cardboard, it says SC Art. So that I'm assuming is the brand. This is a Mansory customized uh, Rolls Royce, the Phantom 8. And let's see, there's some weird white dust or something going on in that black case. But uh, all right, so the tape it doesn't look like it was messed with. Like my my last video, I think the dealer opened it. But the model was fine, so I guess that's nothing to complain about there. Okay, let's lose this top here. So the case is much longer because this is a long 164 scale car here. Uh, so I guess as expected for this kind of car, you have the photo etch uh, plate here with the brand, the car itself. It's not limited. There's no limited numbering or anything like that. Uh, Okay, so look at this. You know, the first thing that came to my mind is how long is this limousine? I couldn't find anything on the internet. I'm not even sure if, you know, Mansory is the company that made this a limousine or if Rolls Royce themselves are making limousines. So, got my calipers here. Let's take a look here, millimeters. It's 108 millimeters. Granted, there's like a gold lip on the front. So, you know, in fact, let's see if this will even fit on the spinning thing here. So you guys can look at something while I'm doing my calculations here. Okay, so 108 millimeters times 64. So 6,912 6, millimeters, so almost seven meters long, which is a uh, pretty long, of course. So looking at the wheels next, that seems to be a prominent distinction here. Uh, this thing is rolling on 22 inch rims. That's a big wheel. I mean, 22 inch wheels must be extremely heavy as well. Uh, you know, being made of metal and not carbon fiber. So. Luckily that thing, the engine itself, is putting out 900 newton, newton meters of torque that this thing can still accelerate pretty fast, I bet, even as a limousine. Uh, the Phantom 8 is the first uh, Rolls-Royce to have four-wheel steering, which makes sense even on the, the regular non-extended version because these Phantoms are just big vehicles in general. And then uh, one other tidbit of information I found out is the tires are filled with foam. And they're special continental tires, and the foam is to help reduce road noise. So I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, so I'm going to actually lose this spinning thing because it makes a weird gear noise. It almost sounds like there's rocks inside the thing. Let's angle this down so we get some better light. All right, so I went with the white one just so I don't have identical colors in my Rolls-Royce collection. But I also like this gold stripe that I saw on the internet. Although I'm wondering why the gold stripe doesn't run all the way to the front on uh, behind the front wheel. You see that? Look at this bottom gold stripe. Why is it cut short like that? It does it on both sides. So I suppose that's, I don't know, it's, it's just weird. Because the gold stripe carries over in the back right from the edge. And then it wraps around the back bumper. So... And then the gold stripe is on the front, but for some reason, 
this makes no sense at all. It's just weird. So this company, SC Art, I think they just uh, made a mistake. I have a hard time thinking a real car would have a, just a, a break like that in their pinstriping, where on the top pinstripe it goes all the way across. Hmm, very interesting. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I didn't actually look up a Mansory limousine on the internet, so I apologize for not researching that. I was just excited to open this box and see what's going on. There is this nice, cool uh, Mansory venting here. You know, that's definitely not stock by Rolls Royce. And so it retains its suicide doors with the handles, and this uh, has separate plastic handles. They're not just molded in and painted silver, they're separate pieces. We got the gas cap there, painted on red for the reflectors there. That's fine. Uh, we're getting the taillights pretty nice. We got the red plastic and then the painted on uh, silver. I'm I assume maybe that's supposed to be chrome, but it's good enough. And then the rear badge, yeah, on this. Uh, chrome accent I can see an RR there so that's pretty neat not sure what that is maybe it's for a, a tow hook that you screw in we have the flush uh, exhaust tips here neat. let's take a look uh, into these wheels see if there's any sort of caliper you know there is actually there's a brake rotor in there. It's really small compared to the wheels, but you know, this, they're still probably big. It's just that rolling 22 inch rims, you probably still, that's probably still a big brake rotor. Hopefully, you can catch, see the little red on the caliper and then the, the silver of the, uh, the rotor. On my video camera, things look darker. Than, that, than when I actually look at the video after I download it. So hopefully that showed up. Anyways, looking at the front, no license plate or anything like that. I think uh, the Phantom 8 is a meaner looking vehicle than the 7. We'll compare them on, in a moment, but let's try to get some shots inside here. We have a black dashboard and steering wheel. And it looks to be like an orange interior on this uh, this particular color scheme and also if you look closely the windows are tinted at least the back ones so the windshield the front side windows the driver windows are clear and then these are all tinted which makes sense you know legally you can't you shouldn't have tinted front front windows but obviously you know the people that are multi-millionaire billionaires they uh, want to not be seen by everyone which brings up the point that this car, a regular Phantom 8, has a, a price of 900000 to a million dollars before options. So I'm sure this limousine must be, I don't know, it's definitely going to be expensive in the real world. Alright, so the mirror, side mirrors, yeah, the side mirrors have the little chrome insert there, chrome plastic. And let's look at the sunroof. Those seem to be tinted windows as well. And they have lines on them. I'm assuming those are defroster lines. I've never seen defroster lines on a sunroof before. But then again, this is a Rolls Royce, so. But then why are there no defroster lines on the rear glass? Maybe, I know this thing has double pane windows. So maybe on these side windows, Possibly there's ventilation in between the, the panels of glass. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. But it's interesting to see defroster lines on the sunroof and not on the rear glass. All right, nice little gold trim there on the bottom of the trunk area. Okay, so I think uh, I'm just now going to look at this with the naked eye. Look for some paint flaws, but I don't see any. One thing I didn't catch on the camera, there's a little passive styling vent there. I'm not sure if that's a real vent on the real car, but it's styling. As if you're trying to make a giant limousine look faster. 
think that's kind of weird, but whatever, it's cool. Alright. Yeah, if I was nitpicking, you know, the, there's a little bump there on the plastic that wasn't trimmed off properly. But uh, no, no paint flaws that I can see, which is great. Hopefully my luck is changing and I'm starting to get a better run of cars that don't have paint flaws. Oh, what is this here? So I didn't catch it on the camera, but there's a chrome trim line going from the grill, the Parthenon grill, all the way up here, and then it loops around the windshield. So that is cool. Very neat styling choice there, or design cue. Hmm, very cool. It reminds me of a Jaguar, uh, a Kyosho Jaguar. I forget which one. No, wait, what do you mean? It was an Aston Martin. Ah, I'm just trying to recall it, but sorry. I think I'm getting some Alzheimer's. I can't remember every car that I look at. Okay, well, now, so I guess we should look at some comparisons of size and stuff. Uh, I don't actually have the regular wheelbase Phantom 8. I'm waiting for a cool color scheme to come out before I buy one of those die casts. But, you know, I do have the Phantom 7. This is my first Rolls Royce to enter my small collection here. And let's see here. So, obviously, it's a lot longer. If we try to line up the uh, front and rear, kind of. Sorry for my hand there. So, yeah, it's definitely a long car. And then the chassis between with this Phantom 8 is actually shared with the Cullinan. So, I'm not sure width-wise, though, if they widen the Cullinan because... It looks like the width of the Cullen is, is, is wider, right? Hopefully you can see that. Hmm, it does make me wonder. Let's look at the width here again. Now these Phantoms are pretty narrow compared to the Cullen, and I'm kind of wondering if this Cullen is properly scaled. It seems a, a much wider vehicle. Or if BMW decided to actually stretch the width of the, the chassis. Hmm. Anyhow. Okay. Well, uh, if you have any comments, you know, feel free. Hopefully some other Rolls-Royce fans will chime in. All right. Take care, guys.